name is Phyllis Go, and welcome to my presentation for the Disability Collective for the Art is Movement exhibition. I will be in the chat room answering any questions you may have during this presentation. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a certified oncology registered nurse who cares for breast cancer patients. This is actually a picture of me at work. I am currently on medical leave due to an accident that caused me to have a brain injury. I'm currently busy with therapy and doing volunteer work to help stimulate my brain. Within my volunteer work, I'm an accessibility and patient advocate. And during my spare time, I enjoy to paint with acrylic on canvas. I wanted to give you an overview of the set of paintings that I have done titled Tranquility in the City. After I speak about each of the five paintings, I will provide some time for you to take in and have a closer look at the each painting. Each of these paintings are scenes of Toronto in the year 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic is raging. When lockdowns are in effect and streets are desolate, and the emptiness of the images are to show the effects of the lockdowns. The scenes also have birds to illustrate how nature is returning during the pandemic. They also illustrate the freedom that we still have, such as personal freedom, democracy, and free healthcare. Because there are places around the world that do not have the freedoms we do, and we should be grateful. This is the first painting in the series of five titled Red Brick District. This is a scene of the distillery district in downtown Toronto. On the right side of the canvas, there are tall red brick buildings, and on the left, shorter red ones. Down on the left center of the canvas is the red cobbled street, while on the right center is the stark empty cement sidewalk, which is normally bustling with people. Closer to the viewer at the center is a black and metal chair with four brown birds resting and enjoying the beautiful weather and blue sky. The second piece is titled Flying Out of Darkness. The scene is part of Harborfront in downtown Toronto at night. In the background, there are condominiums with various lights on. Across the center of the canvas is the harbor front wave deck walkway, illustrating the wave of emotions that some people are experiencing during the pandemic. At the lower center of the canvas, two birds are flying above the Lake Ontario water illustrating the freedoms that we have in our first world society. The lights from the road lamps illustrate hope, hope for a cure for COVID-19, hope that things will return to some type of normalcy, and hope that we can one day see our family and friends to give them a hug soon. This third piece is titled Night at the Six. And the scene is at night during the winter in front of Nathan Phillips Square in downtown Toronto. The curved twin building surrounding the saucer-shaped council chamber is City Hall, which in this painting has all its lights on. There are various hotel and business buildings on the right side of City Hall with some of their lights on as well. The Toronto and Maple Leaf signage is lit up in white and red respectively. There is some reflection of the night's light on the cold, wet concrete plaza ground. The skating rink that would normally be busy in this evening is now empty as we stay in our homes to keep each other safe. And there are two birds showing how nature is returning during the lockdowns. The fourth piece is titled A Streetcar Named 504, a wordplay from the stage play titled A Streetcar Named Desire. The scene is of the back of the 504 streetcar at night on one of its routes in downtown Toronto, just after it rained. The emptiness of the streetcar is to show the effects of the lockdowns, especially the 504 streetcar in the evening when it is usually filled with people. And if you look closely, you will see two pigeons on either side of the streetcar. The fifth and last piece is titled A Night at the Rom, also known as the Royal Ontario Museum, a wordplay on movie Night at the Museum. This is a night scene in front of the Rom's extension named 
the Michael Lee Chin Crystal, which is reminiscent of five crystals designed as interlocking self-supported structures. The emptiness and the passing of cars in front of the ROM compared to the Friday night live events where people gathered to dance and party in the museum is now quieter as we are asked to stay in our homes. The flying bird represents the hope and the reminder of the freedoms that we still have and should be grateful for. Thank you for taking the time to view my set of paintings titled Tranquility in the City. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed painting them. This is my contact information. Have a great evening.